Hi guys, Retro Jango here. Today's video is gonna be all about the mighty, mighty Blizzard 1230 MK4 Turbo card for the Amiga 1200. This is pure magic. This card is uh, by most Amiga users rating as the best accelerator card for the Amiga 1200. Best all around, best value for money, best compatibility for all the WST load gamings. Um, this card is just, it's a must have if you love Amiga 1200s, guys. Um, some of the features, high performance accelerator board for the Amiga 1200 with 50 megahertz 68030 processor with MMU performance increase between 400 and 500 percent. A72 pin SIM socket that allows you up to 128 megabyte of RAM. <clears throat> Audio configure audio configuring memory and optional map ROM. This one has map ROM, one megabyte map ROM. It can include your um, Kickstart ROM into memory, so it will work much much faster. Very fast memory design, the DMA and so on. Easy to install. Trapdoor fits in the trapdoor. This card is just pure magic, and it's I mean today. We have built-in hard drives, compact flash cards, everything in these uh, Amiga 1200s. And this is the Amiga 1200 that hadn't been touched for many, many years. Uh, when I enter uh, Dear Opus, I can see its latest saved files are from 1995. And it's really, you know, th this is just pure magic, man. It's it's a time capsule because it's it's filled with great stuff that got used back then like mini meter i have no idea what it is but let's just give it a go yeah we have under one megabyte chip no fast ram so yeah a lot of great stuff and this original built-in hard disk from that era sc blitz 2 don't know DTP, Final Rider, Word Birth 5, Math, Script, um, yeah, Pronet, Communication, Database, Final Data, SP Pro, Money Matters, uh, Multimedia, I mean, back in the 90s, Multimedia, it was just all over the place, MM400, Take 2, yeah, a lot of stuff, guys, so, but, the thing is, oh, what is this text? Film, joke, civilization, alien breed, yeah, a lot of stuff. Also, video. I mean, I looked at this um, at uh, pictures. It's just filled with uh, pictures from '90s demo scene. Um, some great artwork, man. I I haven't checked everything, but it's so highly, highly enjoyable. So much great stuff in here, man. 24 bit, yeah, images, background. It loads and it loads and it loads like crazy because it's just filled with stuff, okay? Animations, uh, brilliance, yeah. A lot of music, multiplayer, pro tracker, eagle player. But the thing is, having an Amiga 1200 with some sort of hard disk, the thing is, when you wanna use it, if it's just a standard, Two megabyte chip RAM, then you will get this message. I don't know if you can read it. Yes, you can. Not enough memory. Next song, let's hear Alien Breed. Not enough memory. If you want to play games, let's go ahead and um, load. You know, the hard disk is just filled with things. <laughs> this is not WST load. This is fully installed games from discs. We have got UFO, Worms, Stardust. Stardust. This game will reboot reboot your computer. Okay, so we're going to re reboot the computer. So it clears all memory, all RAM, and it will just start up clean and not enough memory to run Super Stardust. So yeah, having a Mega twelve hundred with no accelerator dash RAM expansion, not something I would recommend. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. This awesome, awesome card. I love this card. So let's go ahead and unbox this together. 
das ist how it looks inside. Achtung, Achtung. <laughs> oh, the survivor. Man, I wish something worked so we could hear some music, you know. Let me see if we have some, you know, a game that only fills one, one disc or something like that. So we have something in the background. Let me see. Small game. Maybe kind of father that was three this game. Maybe that will work. I would love that. Yeah, hard disk loader. I think that works. Okay. So while that's loading, let's unbox this one, guys. Can't allocate enough memory. Oh my god. Okay, let's just leave that <laughs> and let's let's install this beauty. Okay, guys, look at this. Look at this. We have got the manual, user manual, Blizzard 1230 MK4 from Phase 5 Digital Products. Wow, great stuff. This, this is awesome, man. I love this. I mean, here you can see. It says Blizzard 1230 MK4 back in 95 Phase 5 Digital Products. And the condition of this one is just, it's, it, it's amazing. Installed 64 megabytes of RAM. You can just pull this one out and install 128, but 64, come on guys, it's more than enough. It has got Motorola 68. 030 running at 50 megahertz 50 this is a 14 megahertz computer boosts up to 50 megahertz plus it's the 030 instead of the 020 so real nice boost you have the option to install an fpu why but uh, let's go ahead and install this one and play music and try some of the same games the blizzard card has been installed this amiga 1200 has got a built-in hard disk and now has been upgraded with a blizzard card that means the first thing you have to do is give it some more power this original psu i can't use it anymore because of the blizzard card update and uh, well if i had a compact flash card maybe but with this configuration this is junk i installed a power powerful um psu down there so uh the original gives uh, 500 milliamps and this one gives one amp at the 12 volt line so more juice more power it runs great so let's just go ahead and um, let's go into a game here let's all oh, look at this it's so snappy now it it loads so much faster and it's what an amazing upgrade i mean what a difference this card makes man i absolutely love it it's a great upgrade um yeah we have got sim city if you want to read it in english just pause the video here yeah and in german over here automatic <laughs> yeah great stuff guys what a nice upgrade also more power now and it runs great this is um civilization uh simsy 2000 aga version and it just loads it's so snappy it's nothing with out of memory let's try skit 2 and see uh, how it performs it has detected the 64 megabytes of ram this is um skid marks 2 uh oh set up modem uh no get out of here <laughs> okay that's nice uh let's go ahead and enter audio here Ah, double click, there we go. Pro Tracker, Wave, Eagle Player, Eagle Player. 
a couple of minutes ago, it said uh, not enough uh, memory. And look at this, guys. Wow. Isn't it great? <laughs> what a nice upgrade, man. Guys, if you have been watching this video until now, then I hope you like what you're seeing. I just want to say thank you for your support. I want to thank my supporters at Patreon. Uh, thank you guys, you are making this all possible for me. And if you want to support the channel, go into patreon.com dash retro Django and support the channel. I would really appreciate it, man. That would be great. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And here is some of my Patreons, here we go. Thank you guys, thank you for the support. All right, so let's go ahead and try, what game was it? That was a game we couldn't run, let me see over here. It was Super Stardust, yeah. Oh, that's just so much snap here, man. I love it. <laughs> I mean, having a Mega 1200 with no acceleration, nah. This game will reboot your computer. So go ahead and reboot, clear everything, and let's see how it, it performs. Wow. Everything is just so smooth, man. I love it. Yeah. Episode 2. <laughs> Great stuff, man. Uh, I don't remember this game, but uh, let's just give it a go. It was installed uh, in the hard disk. But the downside about having, you know, this powerful Amiga is if you want to play games from discs, you can have compatibility issues. So, yeah, it is what it is, guys. Uh, let's go to the right. And down. Level 6. Let's just check... Uh, Level one, okay. <laughs> oh, this game, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, you can fly, and this was um, everybody was. Oh, you could also use your shield. Everybody was crazy with the graphics of this game and the power of the Mega Twelve Hundred back then. It was a must after this game. Oh, let's pick up this power up over here. Oh, that was not a power up. Come on. 15 seconds left, and I got destroyed. No! <laughs> yeah. Give me that. Power up, and we're done. Alright guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Blizzard review, and you can see the difference it can make upgrading to one of these cards. I love it anything about it man and it works it works amazing if you want to see the uh, speed of the from uh, uh, yeah the boot boot up speed up with this card um, compared to the beginning without this actuator card let's just give it a go and see I mean it, it loads like crazy man that loading icon is just uh, loading LED is just yeah and down here we have some icons. I don't know what they are. Let's just check it out. Oh, that's Dear Opus 5. Great stuff. Look at look at the speed. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, let's just exit this. Quit. And we tried one more game that didn't work, and it was Canon Photo 2, right? Or it's over here. Opened it twice. <laughs> okay, it just got stuck here and it said not enough uh, RAM and uh, yeah, had a lot of trouble. So, as I can see, the hard disk is. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it, but it's loading like crazy. So, let's see if, uh, if that one works. And as you can see, everything is just so smooth right now, man. If I use the old PSU, the old power supply unit, it won't run this smooth. So if you upgrade your Amiga, give it a powerful uh, PSU. This is from the Amiga 500 and it's the heavy one, not the light one. Use the heavy, heavy brake. I mean, so heavy, man, but it just gives much more power and makes everything run, run perfect, man. I love it. So again, guys, Thank you for watching. 
Thank you for your support on Patreon. Thank you for sharing my videos. I get so happy when I see you guys are sharing my videos. And if you like stuff like this, give it a thumbs up, man. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye.